Froelich Gladstone Rainey was an American anthropologist. A master of narrative prose, he was the type of ancient specialist anyone in the field would have relished working with. Regarding the Arctic, he put it to the National History Museum as follows, quote, We have now found an Arctic metropolis, many times larger than anything previously thought possible in this part of the world, and once inhabited by a people whose material culture differed markedly from that of the Eskimos as we know them. He continues, One morning in the June of 1940, when Magnus Markey and I had returned to begin the second season of digging at Iputak, we soon became aware of the astonishing extent of these ruins. We could see long avenues of yellow squares, marking the ancient buildings, spanning east and west for well over a mile. Over the next several days, we hurriedly attempted to chart these ruins before they all became hidden once more. We eventually realized that more than 600 buildings would have once stood on this ancient site, a site well over a mile in length." End quote. Dated at many thousands of years old, you have to wonder, why is not more publicity shared regarding these mysterious people? Sophisticated objects have been unearthed, which demonstrate a far more complex civilization than the proto-Eskimo culture academia would have you believe inhabited the area. The architectural abilities of this mysterious group also far exceeds the capabilities of other ancient cultures, even as far as Mexico. The largest ancient settlement ever found to have existed in Alaska, it was even bigger than any Arctic coastal village in Alaska or Canada today. The town of Iputak would have once been home to more than 8,000 people. Just who were the Iputak people? How did they survive so successfully within an Arctic climate many thousands of years ago? Are we looking at a culture far older than we are told? Regardless, one reason to conceal such a fact would be the Bering Strait hypothesis, a hypothesis conveniently crucial to evolution theory and one which numerous people have lost their careers over. Dr. Scott Elias at the Colorado Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research, quote, As far as orthodox scholarship is concerned, the validity of the Bering Land Bridge route is not up for debate. Regardless of such cult rhetoric, the Iputak people are certainly an interesting and controversial bunch, and worthy of future study. We will keep you posted. Alaska, America's largest and most sparsely populated state, although that may not have always been the case. We have previously covered many compelling accounts, reports, excavations, even photographs of this mysterious race. It seems no matter where you turn within controversial archaeological fields, you will inevitably come across reports of giants. They even made it to the notoriously remote Polynesian island better known as Easter. Tales of giants with two rows of teeth, giants with red hair, blonde hair, moon eyes, and even giants from Alaska. Just who were these world-traversing ancient Goliaths? Were all these different tribes related? Were they responsible for the building of many of the ancient structures found around the world, where the placement of huge megalithic blocks still perplexes us to this day? Atlan is known as the Gold District of Alaska and James L. Perkinson owned a piece of it. An extremely wealthy American miner who found something remarkable in his land, something so impressive, he graciously went to the San Francisco Call newspaper personally to report his findings. Two weeks prior, the first excavations were being made for a tunnel which unfortunately broke through into a layer of an ancient burial ground. Within were seven gigantic skeletons. One was a mere seven feet in height yet the others were of a tremendously greater stature, some over 10 feet tall. The layer is at a high altitude, and the ground is half frozen, making for great preservation chances," said Perkinson. He believed that many more giants were buried there, as the ones he unearthed were lying comparatively close together. The skeletons were unusually well-formed, but one unique feature was the size of the bones, the forearms were enormous in comparison to usual people. Besides two of the skeletons were spears, rudely shaped and pointed with sharp stones. 
other pieces of stone and carved metal were found nearby. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be long before it all seemingly vanished. Regardless, this was a noble act by James L. Perkinson. It is sadly unknown just what did happen to the giants on James Land. This was a report made by James L. Perkinson to, and subsequently reported by, the San Francisco Call on November 18, 1900. Was there ever life on Mars? Could there indeed still be life there to this day? Questions that man has asked since the beginning of time. A rocky planet covered in red soil, locked in the Goldilocks zone, like ourselves, our seemingly dead neighbor, whom has also been orbiting our life-giving star, just as we have for billions of years. Thus, its past, just like our own, remains a complete mystery. Ancient questions have yet to be asked and are yet to be answered. The list of mysteries to be solved has simply deepened. With more modern questions such as, what has kept cleaning our Mars rover? A question we have pondered upon before. Curiosity first landed on the planet in 2012, far exceeding its estimated lifespan now by several years. Yet, what many are not aware of is that on its downtime on several occasions, the rover has started up in the morning sun and has somehow been found to have been mysteriously cleaned during the night. Yet the most compelling question of them all has only recently surfaced. An object spotted on the surface. Pictured within an ancient lake bed known as Gale, it is undoubtedly one of the most incredible objects we have yet to see. Not only does there seem to be spines, like an ancient waterbound animal would indeed have had. Astrobiologist Natalie A. Cabrol, who shared the image, commented that, in 20 years of studying Mars, it's the most bizarre rock she has ever seen, stating that she cannot wait to have a microscopic image of this one. Many people have commented on the post, many agreeing that the stone indeed looks far more like a bone than anything else so far found on the planet, so far disclosed at least. Last June, Curiosity also discovered some strange twisting structures, seemingly the remnant of botanical life forms. Experts claim the columns were probably created from cement-like substances that once filled the cracks of Martian bedrock. In February of 2022, the rover captured an image of what appeared to be a coral-like flower also within the Gale Crater. Could we finally be uncovering ancient life on Mars? Could there once have been an ancient civilization on Mars, one that will seemingly have to be admitted to, before we land and indeed colonize the planet? As these facts will inevitably be revealed as time reveals all. We find such possibilities highly compelling.